Welcome to our data structure 30 day challenge and this is our second problem this is a rotate array with 59.87% accuracy and this question has been come came in Amazon and MAQ software okay so let's do it given any given an unsorted array of size n rotated with by d elements clockwise and this will be input format first time and then it is a t test cases you okay so first line of each test case is going to take two space separate element, elements and denoting the size of the elements and it is a t denoting the number size of the rotation it. Subsequent line will be the n space separated array elements. Okay, and output output should be like for each test case in a new line output the rotated array. Okay, so here are the constraint and all are easily covered in simple int. This one is example of test cases two. This is one test case and this is the another test case. Here is the five is the size of array and second two is D that is a rotation element. The number of rotation element means is two one two. Now it should be this like three four five one two. We will output three four five one two. Okay. And this one is second. Okay. So pause this question guys. Pause the video and start solving with yourself because this is a very simple question it will take so much less time so do the question on yourself and after that if you find any problem and anything then came you and just I'm doing the rest of things Next case is entity. Let's take input. Make a loop up to n no t. Yeah, is less than t. Okay. I think this is not the best case for solving the. Test cases, test cases, so you just like oh, why? Why is great? And inside this loop, we are just taking the number of array, number of element of array. Let's initialize array to array of size n. Okay. There is one more element that you have to initialize or assign. It. That is okay. Let's try to make some loop. So we less than and I plus plus okay take some input in array I equals to zero plus it be less than and I plus plus and here's the thing so just focus here what we are doing some mathematical calculations okay so see out and this one is array uh, 
five plus t. Okay, so here is a i just like i is zero and t is two. So, so the index of this array should be two. If the i is one and t is two, the index of this array should be three. Got it. So we model like we have to one so giving some spaces now step up and then then zero I hope this solution will be correct if not we will find bugs next Okay, so let's check. Okay, so says an expired. Please go around that try. Okay, definitely. We have, we have to just refresh this page. That's thing. Now compile the test. Ready for evaluation. This is now three four five up to. I thought our answer is correct. Okay, let's submit and check our answer is correct or not. Execution time is 0.71 and our solution is correct. Okay guys, this is a very simple problem. Hope you will get it. See you in next problem.